Alright kids, there's basically two lessons you need to learn from this battle. The first is to have is to always have a counter to Cloyster on your team. The second, make sure that counter does not get paralyzed. Ever. I learned that the hard way as I was in this battle with Ninja Muffin. So basically, I let off with Jolteon, he let off with Togekiss. I went for Volt Switch, expecting him to switch out, but he stays in and T waves my Hitmontop that I send in as per the effect of the Volt Switch. Um, I don't know whether he did that on purpose or whether he was just. Didn't know that Jolteon had Volt Absorb, but uh, whatever. He goes for Air Slash. Does not do that much to Jolteon because Jolteon's beast. He can take Air Slashes all day. And Jolteon takes care of Togekiss. He sends out Chansey, and I have to back out because, uh, you know, Chansey being a elite special wall. He goes for Toxic on the Switch. So my Conquistador is about to rape. He goes for close combat. Takes down most of Chansey's health. Chansey goes for Seismic Toss. Does a fair bit. And I get that poison damage. He switches out of there and goes into Vaporeon. And I go for another close combat. Does not do that much. So at this point I basically just decide to go fuck it. And start Brave Birding everything. So there goes the Brave Bird. Vaporeon is out of the game, which is fucking awesome because I hate Vaporeon, at least when I'm not using it. So now I send out my Wrecking Ball. He sends out his Spiritomb. So now Spiritomb's going for Calm Mind. I go for the Power Whip. When a, because when a problem comes along, you need to whip it. Whip it good. He goes for rest. I go for another power whip. It misses. So that sucks. He this is basically a rest talk spirit tomb. He tries to go for sleep talk, but he just keeps using rest. That happens twice and both times. And that and that turns out to be disadvantages for him because Ferrothorn can 2 HKO spirit tomb. He goes for sleep talk. Sleep Talk picks Rest again. And, yeah. So Spiritomb is out of there. He sends in his Latios, and I'm thinking, okay, this guy probably has some sort of move that takes care of Ferrothorn. And he does, because when I switch into Starmie, I find that it... that Starmie resists Latios' attack. So he switches out of there, predicting an Ice Beam, which does happen. And he switches into his special wall, Chansey. I decide to back out of there and go into Hitmontop. Chansey goes for Soft Boiled to recover the damage lost by Star Raptor's Brave Bird. He switches out into Latios. I go for Fake Out, which does a pretty impressive amount for Fake Out. I go for Sucker Punch on the next turn. That takes care of Latios. Bye bye. So now he sends in Chansey. I'm not sure why he sent in Chansey on Hitmontop, but whatever. He goes for Seismic Toss. I go for the Close Combat. That takes him out. This Hitmontop, pretty much everything except for Close Combat on this Hitmontop is a priority move. So now he sends in Cloyster, and here's where shit hits the fan. I get paralyzed trying to mock punch him, and then he goes for Shell Smash. He gets... Now, at this point, I'm thinking that um, I can still take him. I can just mock Punch him on the next turn. But no, he goes for fucking Ice Shard. So Hitmontop is down. I send in Wrecking Ball. He goes for Icicle Spear. And Wrecking Ball can't take more than one attack from Cloyster. And this Cloyster is sashed. So Wrecking Ball can only deal one attack. Wrecking Ball was the only Pokemon that had a chance of dealing with Cloyster, because Hitmontop failed to Mach Punch it, because it was paralyzed. So yeah. He goes for Icicle Spear again. And that pretty much takes out my Ferrothorn. 
My entire team is getting swept by a fucking vagina Pokemon. Seriously, vagina Pokemon looks like a vagina. So he rock blasts Starmie. Starmie gets taken out of Starmie gets taken out thanks to Rock Blast. And I send out Jolteon. Jolteon falls to Icicle Spear. Jolteon's not that bulky, so yeah, not much it can do. So now I send out my last Pokemon, which is a Volcarona. And you can pretty much guess what's going to happen. Rock Blast. And that is the end of the game. So good job, Ninja Muffin. That was one hell of a comeback. See you all next time, guys.